I'm Philomona Williamson. I'm a painter. I think of myself as a narrative painter, but when I say narrative, I really think of it sort of more as a poetry painter or poems that I'm painting as opposed to as a linear narrative, mm -hmm. that they, um, they tell several sort of visual imagery that um, changes uh, in terms of when the viewer is looking at it, what they're looking for, mm -hmm. um, and what they really what they see every time they come to the painting. Right. The same way you find something different, I think, every time you read a poem. Yeah. That is really what I constantly, that's in my head when I'm painting something, mm -hmm. that there is uh, the original um, thing that influences me. And then, but with that, there's always, ah, Yes, that's happening. But then this also is influenced by it. And this relates to this other part of me that is there. So I, you know, it's a very woven kind of story that I tell. And depending on uh, when you're looking at it, you will either get this, this part of it or you'll get this part of it. You know? I mean, and some, you know, sometimes you will just get the color and just say, oh, you know, that color is, is luscious, and oh, I want to be in that color, and you won't notice that the color is populated by, you know, giant bees that might be dangerous, or, you know, or that it's, you know, it's a water scene where you aren't going to survive if you continue. So you, you never know what is actually, how you're going to uh, react to the stuff that's in the, in mm -hmm. the imagery. Yeah. I like it to be open for interpretation. You know, I really, I want it to be. I, you know, I love that other people have other stories. In fact, I wanted to sort of ask people when I had one up, oh, what's this, what is the story that you see here? But I didn't get a chance to, to do that because it's always, you know, they will pull out something that then influences the next painting in terms of like, oh, I saw this story. It's like, oh, that's a good idea, the story of that, you know. And so, because I do think of each painting sort of uh, talking to the other painting that all the figures are related, they're all part of one family, mm -hmm. and they, you know, they go back and forth and have conversations, and you know, there's, some, there's a dialogue between all of them. Uh, so I do like to hear what the stories are you know, from other people. Mm -hmm. the, stories, the story helps me to paint it. I mean, it's just my vehicle, like, oh, this is how I start. And I love the process of painting so much that, you know, that's what I'm involved in. So in terms of the story, if they get it or don't, that's not, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy painting, you know, and, and making decisions about that when I'm doing the painting. Yeah, so. Now, how do you draw your inspiration for your paintings? Well, usually, I mean, some, it's from like current events, like I was saying inside, and like news stories that happen to, affect me in certain ways, and most of them are about, you know, adolescent, things that happen to adolescents, and then I reinterpret them through my figures. Um, and sometimes it's, it's just, you know, events that I find, you know, how an adolescent would react to it. Um, and then sometimes it's autobiographical, or semi-autobiographical, you know. There, it's always a mixture of all of those things. It's always a mixture of all. But sometimes it's a, you know, a psychological thing that happens to people or you know, something that I'm just feeling. Mm -hmm. But they're all, you know, it's always, yeah, I guess that's the way it is. <laughs> sometimes it's a, it can also just be a color that I totally am in love with and say, you know, I have to have a painting. Uh, I want to use that color somehow. I'm just feeling I want to be embraced by that color and that will be the the starting point, and then the story comes after that, like what that color means. Then I populate it with people that like that <laughs> that color too. There is like sort of a deep story. Well, like the the story, um, the white painting that I was talking, the white tree, in terms of that not being a particularly, you know, happy painting, and yet you know I have it all in very pale, pastel -y sort of colors, so, which sort of is the opposite of what that really is about. So I sort of do that. I, that's what I sort of do. Um, I do the opposite of what 
it would be. Um, and the, the other painting that I have of the, the children who stood together in terms of, again, that one also, their colors are very, you know, that's, you know, depressing kind of, well, it's hopeful though. I mean, they stood together, but, um, you know, the subject matter isn't as frivolous as the color might suggest. So I sort of have, you know, they sort of, the, the subject and the colors sort of oppose each other in a way. For people that are coming to see the show, is there anything that you want them to sort of take away from the spells? Like any kind of way they should look at life or look at art? Ah, uh, uh, yes, I have my philosophy. No, no, no. <laughs> this is my chance. I would like you. Uh, exactly. I, I really want, this is my chance to tell you what I think. You know, I talked about, you know, really feeling um, in my studio is when I feel empowered and that I'm in control and I'm the boss. So now I can tell you um, <laughs> what to do. I, I think I just, for my work, I'd like you to enter it, you know, to not, just to enter it freely without any expectations or um, without any preconceived notions about what, who they are doing and to discover for yourself. That's basically, you know, to enjoy them or not, <laughs> but just you know, to enter it without boxing it in a category. You know, um, you know I'm very concerned they are people of color in the broadest sense of the word when you say that. Um, and they're, but they're painted people. They're not, you know, real people. So that's the, you know, to me they're very real. They're my, yeah, but they're, so just to enter it that way.